Hello, Champion George Dwyer here from the George's Live Cooking Show. In today's episode, we're going to be sharing with you through this whole theme of these last couple of weeks is immune boosting amazing recipes. Once again, we have some for you right now. So before we get started, make sure you click the link below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, say it three times fast, fire it up, like, share, and let the world know. So here we go. Right now we have some broccoli rab. We did actually did a recipe like this a few weeks back. Broccoli rab, R-A-B-E, broccoli rab. Correct. We have some red onion. We have some mushrooms, baby bellas. We've been using some Daya cheddar cheese. We're gonna be, we, got the, we got the brown sauce in the back already made. Now you can go to our YouTube channel and look at the recipe that I did for the brown brown uh, the brown brown sauce also we have the mashed potatoes we did a recipe on that as well so make sure you subscribe like share here we go I gotta get my my knifey knife that's one thing I need to do so we're gonna cut off the ends off of this now you can use those ends right there from for soup stock those those ends right there for soup stock I'm just gonna kind of cut this up a little bit broccoli rab so broccoli rab or they call it kind of like miniature broccoli if you will so broccoli rab vitamin C good for the gut red onion this is vitamin C it has zinc and it has all and it's also selenium which is good to fight the C word. We have mushrooms here, vitamin A, vitamin B, C, excuse me, vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin C, and this is also an awesome, what we got? Iron. Iron, baby. So there we go. So these are all, this is all amazing stuff that we use, recipe that we use, ingredients that we use to Boost our immune system, which is awesome. So I'm going to put those in there. I'm going to use a little bit, maybe just a, a tad of oil for the for the for the rab when I put it in, in the in the uh, not the oven. I'm going to put it on the just the pan behind me. And also, just a tip for you when you when you're using these. These mushrooms if you for some reason want to rinse these mushrooms you have to use them because they'll get soggy and messed up so just a, uh, a tip for you when you're doing these these mushrooms unless you go unless you're using them right away don't don't rinse them because they make them soggy and it helps them to spoil fast that's a tip for you so I'm just going just a kind of rough a rough chop don't get your fingers in the way I like to use the whole mushroom you can use it cut off these Cut off this end and use that for soup. But I like using the whole mushroom. Sometimes I do that. It all depends on how I feel. That goes over there. And it's a, it's a good way to just preserve your, your, your ingredients when you're doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in this bowl right here. Uh oh, just gonna go in. And we're gonna put the got the we got the pipe the pan back here behind me going. We lost one. We lost one out the water. Okay. Rinse them off and put them back in the pool. Yeah. So I'm gonna cut off a little bit of this. And see right here, this that part right there, you can cut that off and you can use that as as soup stock. You really can. Them little edges right there. The vegetable stock. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and cut that up. Just kind of give it some little bit of some goodness there. Right there, right there, right there. Yeah, put that in there like that. Keep your fingers out the way. You don't want your fingers in the way. I might do one. I think I'll do a little bit more of the red onion. A little bit more. Okay, so we're going to take these red onion. Put these in here. We have so we got so we have the broccoli wrap chopped up. We have 
and I could have made it. I could have made it bigger, but I want to kind of give it, let it stretch a little bit. I got the onion, red onion, and the mushrooms ready to go. I got the pan over here. I'll turn this way so you guys can see. I'm just gonna put just a little bit in the pan, just maybe a, a tablespoon in there. I got the paper. potatoes are already done. And again, make sure you go to our YouTube channel and you can see the recipe that I did for the mashed potatoes. Also, we have the brown sauce. We have a, a, a recipe, a link for that as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in. We got the pan heating up. Yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Hear it sizzling? Can y'all hear it sizzling? Mm -hmm. Can you hear that sizzling? Y'all smell so good. Sure smells good. I'm gonna use a little bit of, where is it? So I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, some black pepper, just a little bit, because the because the the sauce is going to give it enough of the enough of the the salt I believe it needs. So we're just going to go ahead and let that saute up real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Got this on medium high. Go up a little bit more. We want this. We want this to be nice. I found the mushroom. <laughs> Come here, man. We're gonna put him back in the pool. More like the jacuzzi. Yeah, the jacuzzi. Ha ha ha. I just use just a little tad of the some black pepper. So I got the brown sauce over here ready to go. I got the mushrooms ready to go. I mean, excuse me, the the uh, not mushrooms. The mushrooms are in here. Fine. Mm -hmm. I got the mushrooms here. The broccoli rab. I got the potatoes, mashed potatoes over there. Ready to go. I got the cheese over there. We're gonna put on some, put some vegan cheese on top. So you probably, you know, you go five or ten minutes with this. You want to kind of get it, kind of like uh, you want this to be. You want this to kind of be translucent a little bit. Those, those, especially those onions. Those onions. You want them to be kind of like translucent. Normally, I would cut the, the broccoli wrap a little longer, but I just wanted to kind of stretch this out a little bit more. And I, I believe the reason why they kind of cut it longer, because it gives it a little bit more of, a, of an, an opportunity to be, as we say, uniform, if you will, which is all right, though, you know. So we're just gradually going on ahead and, and letting this heat up. I, like I said, I put maybe just about a tablespoon worth of some oil in here, just a little bit. And once these, once these, these broccoli wrap, they're, they're starting to kind of like shine up a little bit, then you know. What I like to do as well is put some of Georgie's all-purpose rub. But guess what? Can you believe it? We sold out. So I don't even I don't even have any in, in the half. How about that? I'll show you what we even have any. Uh, have any. This is what it looks like. But we are we all out. We use it all up. We all sold out. Uh oh, fumble. We all out. I like to put that in there as well. With this particular recipe, we won't do it because we sold out. Can you see that good, sir? Yes, I can. See, so it's nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of this brown sauce. And again, I, I left the, we have a video that we did this brown sauce. See that? It's got onion, uh, excuse me, it's got fresh garlic, fresh Fresh garlic is fresh ginger, molasses, some potato starch. It has rice, wine, vinegar.
some water and some what do you the soy uh, this the soy it's a soy product the nutritional uh, not nutritional what do you call it liquid amino liquid amino yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this in like that it smells delicious you know awful hungry it smells good so we got that nice so we're going to put this over, turn it up a little bit, we're going to put this over the, on top of the mashed potatoes. Now you can put this on rice, you guys, you can put this on rice, you can put it on couscous, you can put it on just, any, just about any, any, you know, anything like that. Quinoa, it's high in protein, and see how it's kind of getting nice and silky, see how... The mushrooms are starting to get nice and silky. See that? Hmm. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. And we just about finished with this, guys. And again, make sure you guys subscribe to the link below to our YouTube channel, let the world know that we're impacting and changing lives one amazing recipe at a time. Share, like, let us know what you like best about these videos. Let us also know about a recipe that you would like us to make. Leave comments below, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, we really appreciate that. You'd be supporting us in, a, in an awesome way. Look at that, man, that is so divine. And it smells amazing. I like it to go just about when it's when it's kind of, you know you can kind of see it. It's it's got a nice snap to it. You don't I don't like it to be mushy. I don't like the greens to be mushy. You know what I mean? Mm. Just it just kind of takes away from it. So we just about ready here. I'll turn that down. I'm gonna prepare the. The cheese here, right quick. Uh oh. Did we lose my thing here, the, the wire here? I don't believe so, no. I kind of stripped over the wire a little bit. Still plugged in. Make sure it's plugged in there. Yes, we it apologize is. about that, guys. So, let me go ahead and wipe off the extra water here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get this. Get to put that on, turn these off. These are all off. We're gonna go ahead and get the put the mashed potatoes on. take and put the broccoli rab and the brown the broccoli rab and the browns brown sauce over the potatoes now we're going to top this off with some vegan Cheddar cheese. You guys gonna see it fall right off. Boop, boop, boop. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. There we go. Still some hiding out down here. Still some hiding out. So there you have it, guys. There you have it. I see a little dampness on that, on that plate, so we need to wipe that off right quick. We need to wipe that off real quick. Oh yeah. Take a little bit more brown sauce. 
A little bit more brown sauce. There you go. There we go. There we go. Boom. There it is, guys. I'm going to take a quick picture, and then we'll let you guys go. I, I guess we got to taste it too, right? Let you guys taste the amazingness of this, which is going to be out of control. Out of control. Out of control. That steam is coming off that bad boy. Steamy steam. The steamy steam. All right, so now, Lord, we just pray that you bless this food. Thank you for this opportunity to share this food with the world. And we ask you, Lord, that this would be a blessing to those watching and that they would be able to be blessed by this recipe. And we thank you for it now, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. So here we go. So we got a little bit of the broccoli rab, the red onion, the mushroom, a little bit of that cheese. Boom, look at that, huh? See that? Y'all see that? That cheese right there. Here we go. Got a little snap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Woo! That's good right there. That is good right there. Mm. Ooh, that's good. All right, guys. So with that said, make sure you subscribe to our link below. And share this video. And again, we got two videos for the we got a video for the brown sauce. And we also got a video for the mashed potato. This here is our broccoli wrap with vegetables. Awesome. Awesome immune boosting properties. Good for the immune boosting system. So guys, until next time, I'm George Duart from George's Live Cooking Show. You guys are awesome. God bless. Chef George out. Fired up.